Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to our Liberia campaign. We are, of course, trying to play as the impoverished nation of Liberia, and this is seemingly an impossible task, but we will do the best to defeat the enemy at every single turn. This is absolutely what we've got to do, guys, and we're going to do that first by attacking Sierra Leone. Now, their world ranking is significantly higher than ours. Um, however, they are undefended right now, and I'm going to try to go ahead and go to war with them. Uh, they do have some... Uh, I don't think they have any allies, um, but they do have world power points, and as you can see, our military points are nowhere close to theirs. Um, they have, uh, well, I guess they have less military points than ours, but their power points are extremely high uh, in comparison to us. We've absolutely got to take this uh, this location. I hate to use this term, but Lebensraum is what we need. We need living space for our people. We need more locations for our people to grow their crops, and uh, quite frankly, we're just going to need to steal this land from the enemy. So there we go. We are in the battle, and we absolutely have to win this war, guys, uh, with Sierra Leone if we want to uh, succeed. And uh, even if we win this war with Sierra Leone, it's going to be very hard, but at this point, it's just not possible. We have to take Freetown, which is the city over here, and make it part of Liberia, and bring these two wonderful cultures together. Of course, before we do that, we're going to have to uh, really attack and kill a lot of things. So as you can see here, we are attacking, guys. We have seven on our side. The enemy has four. It does seem like things should go in our favor, but we never really know. Another thing I'm going to do in this campaign, which I should have been doing already, is we're going to be the reporters of the world. So we're going to go around. Whenever something happens in another part of the world, we're going to take a look. A lot of interesting stuff has happened already. Uh, actually, Germany declared war on Japan. I know, weird. Um, and we want to see what happens there. But uh, a few other things have happened. The Argentinian Revolution has not succeeded. The Argentinian state remains in power. And we're essentially just waiting for the next interesting occurrence. So here we go. Sierra Leone changed to general mobilization. Um, and New Zealand joins the British Alliance. That doesn't affect us too much. Uh, one interesting thing, though, is we have a militia unit that was just completed. I'm going to move him to Sierra Leone. Let's take a look here at the fight. And so far, still 7-4. and four. I mean, it's, it's really going to be tough for us to beat these guys. We're going to have to keep sending men over there and keep this war going. Luckily, nothing very interesting is happening in the world right now, and we can focus entirely on this war. Um, but we want to take this... this area as quickly as possible. Remember, the eyes of the world are upon us, and the longer or the longer we take to actually end this war in Africa, uh, the more likely it is for a big superpower like the United States or Great Britain uh, to come in and step in on behalf of Sierra Leone. So we want to take over Sierra Leone. We want it to happen quickly, but it's not that simple. All right, Australia joined the British Alliance. Interesting. Uh, let's take a look here at the Battle of Sierra Leone. Eight and five. So now the enemy is receiving reinforcements, guys. We've got another militia unit coming next turn, uh, and we absolutely want to get them out of here. I might even go for a, a cavalry unit, um, but that's going to take four turns. So we're going to have to hold out for four turns for him to really be effective at all. Remember, these are very disorganized armies. Neither us nor Sierra Leone has a particularly strong army, uh, and this is going to make fighting a lot harder. Uh, also, just the fact that we have to have an upkeep cost for this is pretty crazy. Uh, and yes, Mexico is beating the Zapatistas. Zapatistas were, of course, trying to do their best uh, to defeat Mexico uh, and create a sort of worker state, but they did not succeed. Let's go ahead and move to Sierra Leone. Eight and four. Guys, we're killing them off little by little. I know that sounds awful, but that's just the way it is, and we're just going to keep it up. We must defeat the enemy to any extent. I want the president. I want to take him. Cut off his head. That was what I want. I want him to, to chop him. Chop the man. That is what you do. Chop the enemy man. Yes. I'm pretending to be Liber Liberia's wonderful president. Uh, in this case, will be Samuel K. Doe. Uh, no, it's actually way past Samuel K. Doe's time. He's been killed already. Um, so I'm just going to make up a president. And he is going to be in control of... Uh, Liberia. Of course, if we take a look here at Liberia itself, uh, we actually do have a democracy, I believe. Um, let's take a look here. A constitutional republic. But we're going to change that. I very well might do a coup uh, after we win this war. We will win. Do not worry. Uh, and after we win this war, we might try a coup and actually uh, change this nation to a more fascist nation. Uh, or possibly even a more, um, just a dictatorship in general. Uh, not necessarily a left or right dictatorship, just a sort of military junta. 
because I think that we, the only way we're going to become a world power, guys, is going to be by way of the rifle. That's the only way Liberia can succeed. We're going to have to go to war. We're going to liberate the rest of Africa. And actually, if you think about uh, what Liberia started as, which was essentially a home for uh, slaves leaving the United States, uh, when you actually think about that, it's quite possible to see that maybe we are the good guys. We want to liberate the rest of Africa from uh, Western oppression and uh, create an African super state here in the West. Uh, it's obviously a very important trade zone, and if we can take care, of, take over all these other countries, we may be able to contend uh, with a lot of bigger African nations like Central African Republic um, or South Africa. Now, of course, Central African Republic is, pr is in pretty bad shape, too, just like we are, but nowhere near as bad as Liberia. So we need this war uh, in our favor. Do not stop fighting. Keep firing your rifles, men. Also, don't hesitate, guys, to uh, let me know down below what you're thinking about the series. Are you having fun? Uh, do you want to see it continue? Uh, obviously, what I try to do is jump from a few years, you know, like I'll play a few years here and then I'll play by myself a bit and then come back. Because if I was to show you this entire game, it would take forever. Uh, there's a lot to be done, obviously, in this game. Uh, let me also just make sure I want to have a region project here. And I think enclosed farms are probably a good idea. We're going to start building some enclosed farms. And let's see how the war is going on. 10 to 4. Come on, boys. Slaughter them all. As you can see, they are defending Freetown with their lives. But I'm going to take over. We're going to take Freetown, liberate it, and turn it into a wonderful Liberian city. Uh, full of slums, sewage, and uh, open gun markets. Because that's fun. That's what people want to have in their country, right? Well, at least we seem to think so. All right, the United States actually rejected an offer uh, for financial support. Um, I actually asked them. The military-led nationalist government has seized power in Buenos Aires is now making expansionist threats against their neighbors. Argentina has now declared games claims against Paraguayan territory. We're going to take a look at uh, Argentina, guys. First, let me move my militia over. Uh, and obviously, we're going to have to get rid of a lot of these soldiers after this war. Because right now, we are going into debt. Um, not so much going into debt, but we are starving just to feed this army. So let me actually get over to... Argentina, and uh, I want to take a look at uh, what's going on here. So they have been taken over by a military dictatorship, it looks like, a nationalist state. So in fact, I was wrong, guys. Uh, it was not the state of Argentina that won, but it was the nationalists uh, that kicked out the uh, Democrats, or the, you know, not Democrats in an American sense, but uh, the, the Democratic government, and uh, installed themselves. So actually, it's led by a military junta, and I hate to say this, but that's kind of the government we're going for, too. We want to be a strong military government. Uh, we don't want any worries about uh, internal conflicts. As you guys know, Liberia is a nation that is full of internal conflicts, constant revolutions, constant civil wars. We want to end all that. We want all Liberians to be the same. We want them all to have a huge nationalistic spirit, uh, and we want them to basically love the country. And there we go. Paraguay is now under threat of invasion by expansionist Argentina, and they have declared war on Paraguay. Uh, nothing's going to happen in this turn, but certainly next turn we can take a look. It's now 11-3, guys, against Sierra Leone. We've got to keep this up. Um, and if we can, perhaps we can come out on top in this war. We'll definitely take a look at the war between Argentina and Paraguay. I'm not sure how that's going to go. Well, I know how it's going to go. Paraguay's going to be beaten by Argentina. Uh, but whether or not somebody else is going to step in, like England or the United States, um, or maybe even another South American power like Brazil, is yet to be seen. But it would be awesome to get a third world war in, uh, in South America. Um, okay, let's take a look here. So I'm really focusing almost entirely on infantry weapons. Um... But I'm thinking industrial corporations might allow heavy industry, and we're also almost done with oil drilling anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, and treaty proposed by Sierra Leone? I don't think so. They want pre-war borders. We're going to absolutely reject that. Um, and I think the only way to defeat these guys is going to be to smash them entirely, because they're not going to accept anything but total defeat. Um, they only have one region just like we do, but they just can't afford to lose it. So I'm going to actually, for the recruitment menu, um, we'll cancel... And I'm not going to recruit any more men. We desperately need to start building up our uh, economy. And let's see, I think we have enough to take over anyway. I will propose a peace treaty next turn, but not before I get to lash uh, these Leonese around again. So, again, is that correct? The Leonese to describe people from Sierra Leone? I'm not sure. Mauritania is, of course, an Islamic state. Um, although I believe Mauritania has always been a, an Islamic state anyway. Um, there was one country here. Is it Trinidad and Tobago that went communist? It was pretty interesting um, and, and very rare. Let's take a look here. 
12 and 3. So they're actually slowly getting reinforcements. I'm going to go ahead and try to propose a deal. Um, let's propose diplomatic relations. Right, let's offer a peace. And we want... Actually, I'm not going to accept this yet. I, we've got to defeat them. We just can't... Um, I, I think I could just accept take Sierra Leone, but I don't think they'll accept. So I'd rather defeat their army and then make claims. Just don't tell anybody that we are hiring child soldiers. They fight very well. Okay, let's see. Uh, city construction completed. Awesome. We got, actually got a distillery in Monrovia, and I decided to do this because obviously corn is our main export. Uh, so I'm thinking a distillery might be a good idea. Um, and let me actually take a look here. Don't want to look at standard view. I don't want to look at political view. No, so we definitely are not in control of that region. No way. Um, we, we have to keep attacking. It's just the only way that, the only way we're going to win is to keep attacking. Um, we can only start making claims once we control the region, and I think the only way to control the region is going to be to beat these guys. But this is like so many wars in Africa, and that it's going to take a long time to complete. Uh, these guys are fighting in the jungle against our army, our superior army, I must say. Uh, but we still haven't managed to completely destroy them. And even with, uh, outnumbering them four to one, we're having some trouble in making any claims. So we definitely need to improve our, our weapons, we need to improve, uh, the way we fight, etc. Let's take a look over here. 12 and 4. They're starting to get some reinforcements, guys. I think it's time to go ahead and possibly get some light cavalry. Now, this might take four turns, but if we need it, we're going to use it. And uh, hopefully, we can make a turn here really, really quickly and take Freetown. Okay, beautiful. Uh, let's go for infantry weapons. One. Hopefully this will help us in our current war. Come on, boys. Take the land and slaughter them all. We already have two different... Uh, well, essentially, we've got uh, African Americans as well as um, Africans in Liberia. So we have two different demographics. Um, if we take Sierra Leone, we're going to have the Leonese, of course, and uh, this is going to create three demographics of people in our country. So each country we take is going to be a bit more of a problem for us in terms of keeping the government loyal, really. Um, at this point, actually, we're spending no money to fight corruption in our government, and there's a reason why. I mean, essentially, the only reason for this government to work is uh, for, for them to, to be corrupt. Uh, it's really the only way it's going to work. So here we go. We're still attacking these guys. They refuse to just die. I mean, it should happen already, but it's taken quite a while. Uh, so we might have to send that light cavalry in, and uh, maybe I should have just kept pumping in uh, the, the militia units. Uh, but let's hope that this war will turn in our favor. Let's look 11 and 4. It's not looking great for us, I will say that. And Light Cavalry is one turn away. That's going to bring us a lot of relief, I think. Uh, but it's certainly not going to change the tide of war yet. There we go. Our Light Cavalry is ready to go. And look how regal they look on that horse. Ready to charge into battle. I just hope that they can break the backs of the Leonese defenders here. They keep getting reinforcements. So we probably should have been doing the same thing, too. Uh, it, you know, if, if we win this war, their nation, their nation is over. If they win this war, our nation is over. Uh, war declared. Taiwan has declared an unprovoked war against Mongolia. That's hilarious. Um, order cavalry charge. That's awesome. I've never done this before, guys. Um, so we are ordering a cavalry charge. I'm not sure if that was very useful. We'll soon find out. No, not getting rejecting this. Uh, no pre-war borders. So I'm actually going to move these guys in. 
And actually, we're about to beat them, guys. This is we're so close. It's 11 and 1. Um, we are sitting with cavalry, and look at that. They're charging the enemy. We should be able to take this area now. And I think we can finally take Sierra Leone and call it Liberia. Northern Liberia in this case, but still Liberia. We're going to go ahead and attempt to force these guys to give us their territory. Uh, but of course, we can only do that once we've totally defeated their army. Come on, men. Slaughter them all. Do not take a single prisoner. Uh, and there we go. Argentina's accepted a peace treaty proposed by Paraguay. It seems that they were not able to beat Paraguay, which is kind of funny. Um, now it's 12 and 2. Of course, I'm still building light cavalry because I already know how this is going to end. These guys are going to keep trying to reinforce their lines. And uh, ultimately, this war may go on for a while longer. Anyway, guys, if you are enjoying this series, I, wanna make I want you to make sure that you hit that like button. Um, you know, always leave a comment if you can. Share this with somebody if you can. Uh, if you know somebody that would enjoy this sort of strategy. And let's see if we can make Liberia a great nation. I really hope that we can. Of course, it's going to be a lot of bloodshed and a lot of issues before we actually manage to get there. But as you can see, it's 12-2. and two. We're very close to beating the Leonese. If you guys have any suggestions as to what to do next, go ahead and leave them down below. But hopefully, we will be stepping into Freetown in the next episode. Thank you for watching, guys. Take care, and have an awesome day.